my earliest memory when it came to anything four wheels was actually when I had my little tractor, my pedal tractor, and I was moving it around the kitchen and just having to be precise and turn it into the corners. That's when I really had that feel for the steering wheel and precision. And there wasn't much speed then, that came later on in, in my life. And then it was at the age of seven, I went into go-karting, and that's when I really became uh, into motorsport and knew this is what I wanted to do. That feeling of speed, you know, hands on the steering wheel, the wind blowing into the race suit, the speed just felt immense. I think about every single season as the most important year and season of my life, whether that was at the age of 11, to allow me to drive in the next category at the age of 12. Today's the most important year of my life. Next year is going to be more important. The year after that's going to be even more important again. We had no more than five data channels on the go-kart. Now we're in Formula One and we rely on thousands of data channels. Data is a huge part of performance and a huge part of what a racing driver relies on. Simulator technologies uh, progress a huge amount in the, the recent years and there truly is a correlation between the performance on the simulator and your performance on the racetrack because the core techniques of driving, the precision, the, the late break and the carrying the corner speed is all the same in reality as it is on a simulator. We place a huge amount of importance on tech when it comes to our fitness training and our cardio routine, the heart rate, is obviously a, a huge part of controlling our fatigue. We do our VO2 max test, we're constantly monitoring body temperature when we're heat training. And when it comes to the strength, as a racing driver, our neck is really important to handle the G-forces. When you're in a Formula One car and you're in the race, you're driving as fast as possible, you're driving on instincts. Fast, accurate data analysis is crucial in developing our race strategies that we rely on every single Sunday. Whether that's down to the lap we pit, which tires to put on, adapted to weather conditions that are constantly changing, if that's the wind or rain incoming, there's no good having all of that information there if you don't know how to use it. So this is when the real team effort comes in, the role of the driver, but then the role of the team with the real-time data in front of them to make the best decisions possible. As a Formula One driver these days, you sometimes almost have to be a data analyst. But it's definitely something I try and embrace because it's an opportunity to enhance my performance. I'm very aware of the future prospects of AI and machine learning and how exciting that's going to be in our everyday life and also for myself as a Formula One driver. When it comes to my future in the sport, my aspirations, of course, are to win a Formula One World Championship. And if I could achieve that for myself, achieve that with my team, nothing would make me prouder. Formula One as a sport right now is in an amazing place, but I can only see that getting stronger, especially with the role of technology. And AI is going to really help improve our racing, improve the entertainment for all of the fans back at home, and improve the safety of the cars. With partners such as G42 and Presight at the forefront of this innovation, this will really give us the opportunity to unleash the full potential of AI in Formula One and beyond. Thank <laughs> you.